please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello, and welcome to Daily Announcements. My name is Nick Kinder. And I'm Ricky Hannon. Make sure to stick around for news regarding hooligans, DECA, big broadcast, and to see how the sports teams fared last night. First to weather with Mo and an apparent light show. For those who didn't take I-Step on the way in, there were light flurries and lots of not-so-toasty air. That air is currently 20 degrees and will actually warm up throughout the day for once. It's only going to get up to 29, but it's something. The flurries will end shortly and will remain non-existent for the remainder of the day. Babe? Thanks, babe. A happy birthday today goes out to Caden Bledsoe, Jessica Garcia, Mariana Matias, Karina Santos, and Scarlett Soto. And then for lunch today, well, we'll be having on lines one, two, pizza sticks and taco snacks. Line three will be closed. Line four will be having a potato bar. And then finally for line five, we'll be having Big Daddy Pizza. Now we're to Edgar with sports. Thanks, Nick. The girls' swim team fell to Northmont last night with strong performances from Blaze Salee and Patience Dean, while the boys' swim team beat Northmont. Event winners were Isaac Nickham and Evan Jordan. In other sports news, the boys' varsity basketball team fell to Central Catholic 70-40. The dogs defended well throughout the first half, holding CC to 26 points. And a bright spot for the dogs was Jace Moore scoring 12 alone, as well as creating numerous shots and for his teammates. That's it for sports. Now back to Ricky. Thanks, Edgar. The Hooligans will be having an improv show on Friday, November 30th. Watch as Team Nichols faces off against Team Bacon in a battle to see who is the best at improvising and making people laugh. Just so you all know, Team Nichols is way better than Team Bacon. Tickets are $5, and there will be snow cones and popcorn available for a small donation. Not free of charge. Sorry for the misinformation. Also, big broadcast auditions will be on January 10th, the Thursday after break. There will be only one day to audition, so if you don't audition on that day, you will not get in. Be thinking about your act now. Do you need a pick-me-up from iStep testing? Make sure to stop by the deck room to purchase M&M, chocolate chip, sugar, and their new cookie, Snickerdoodle. All cookie bags are sold for $1. Also, books and bagels will be meeting Friday, December 21st to discuss Looking for Alaska by John Green. Stop by library this week to pick up your book. That's all for the announcements today. Thank you all for joining us on this brisk morning and good luck to everyone on their final day of ISEP testing. Have a great day, hot dogs.